Uh, Paul was not the type of man that books are written about. He was not a hero, which is why it is so important that all of you are here today. And when this whole marriage conversation started and our friends started getting married, I asked him about it. Should we get married? He didn't reply. He just turned around and walked out of the room. Every time I tried to bring it up, he'd get upset and storm out. And finally, I told him, I don't care much one way or the other, but why don't you want to get married? Paul yelled at me and said, if we married now, we would be having our one-year anniversary next year. What would that say about the last 45 years? That we were just messing around, messing around for all that time? He said, I stopped messing around with you the night I kissed you. No. We can't erase history that way. He was right, of course. My Paul. Marriage is about history. And it's about witnessing. I have been so fortunate in my life to be able to witness Paul for so long. We're always gaining things small and large victories, but each triumph has a price. We get AIDS medications, but our fighting spirit ceases to soar. We get to come out of the closet, but we lose the delicious clandestine habits of the past. We get marriage, but we lose the rigor of inventing our own unions. And now we lose Paul. And with Paul, we lose a generation of men and women who persisted, who were not heroes, who lived in the world that was given to them.